Hey, welcome to UK World Crafts. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make wild garlic nettle soup. It's a really tasty soup that I like to make every spring and it's really nutritious. So this recipe is really, really simple. All you really need is your wild garlic, your nettle tops and some potatoes and some water. I'm also gonna chuck in some celery and you can put in any other sort of spare vegetables that you've got lying around. You can also, if you want, use vegetable or chicken stock. And you can also use butter and cream if you want. But if you want to keep it vegan, then of course, just leave those out. So first of all, you want to go and pick your wild garlic and nettles. You also want to find patch of nice young nettles like this and it's just the top growing part of the plant you want that's where most of the nutrition is I don't really use exact measurements when I'm making soups but roughly four or five hundred grams each I'm using here so I've given these a good wash and when you're cleaning your greens it's a good idea to pick through and make sure you haven't accidentally put any other plants in with them. And also remove any of the larger stems from the nettles. The thin stems are okay, but the really thick stems are a bit too fibrous. So you want to get your pan on a medium heat and put in your oil or butter. You want to roughly chop up your veg. Chop your veggies into the pot and just cook them out for 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. Stir them occasionally just so they don't stick to the pan. Okay, so after about 15 minutes of cooking, I'm just adding in the water. So I've put in about three liters here and crank the heat up to high and cook this out until the potatoes go soft. Once the potatoes have gone soft, you can add in your nettles Turn the heat back down to medium low. You don't want it on too high because it will destroy the micronutrients in the greens. After about five minutes, you can also add in the wild garlic and a good few pinches of salt. You really don't want to overcook the wild garlic because you want to keep that nice vibrant green color. So just two or three minutes. Now I'm getting that amazing garlic smell. I'd say that's about ready. So I'm going to turn the heat off and let it cool down slightly before blending it. And there we go, a really simple recipe for wild garlic and nettle soup. It's a really tasty soup and absolutely packed full of nutrition. The key thing with this soup is not to overcook the greens to keep that nice vibrant green color and not to destroy the nutrients. I like to make big batches of this in the spring and then you can portion it and freeze it so you can enjoy it later in the year too.